Samara Williams. I'm the proud principal of Emerald Elementary. The structure and the framework of No Place for Hate fit perfectly into all the other things we already had going on at our school. We sort of embarked in the partnership with ADL and No Place for Hate, and it's been in place for four years. Last school year, we had one student here with a disability where she didn't have legs and she couldn't walk. We had another student who transitioned from being a boy to a girl. No Place for Hate is a structure and training for kids of how to live in a respectful world. My name is Holly, I'm in fifth grade. I go to Emerald Elementary and I'm 10 years old. So I decided to tell my mom how I felt about myself. She, she, you know, she started to talk to us and said, you know, I don't want to be happy. I want to be holy. I worked with Miss Jolyn. She helped me a lot during the process. She was feeling, you know, I was born in a boy's body, but I have the heart and the mind of a girl. She started seeing me. She talked with mom. Mom was wonderful. She said, okay, so if this is truly how you feel, when do you want to do it? And this was probably a week before winter break. Holly said, during winter break, I want to come back as Holly. So we all talked. We got our district involved. So we decided we will teach her class what transgender means, then make the announcement. And Holly stood up, turned around, and said, I'm transgender and my name is Holly. The empathy, the values, the interaction with another person and the acceptance is something that I didn't have and I have to learn. And it's something I'm proud to say. In them, it's no hate. The bell rang, everybody left. One little boy came running all the way back from outside, came in and said, oh yeah, I forgot. Goodbye, Javi, hello, Holly. She was really cute. And at the same time, she and like six, seven, eight friends were peeling off her name tag and put it on her Holly name tag. So Aurora Hills Middle School has roughly over 900 students. We are a population of mixture and diversity. We have 56% Hispanic, 22% African American, 11% white, and 4% Asian. No Place for Hate just fits right in with our philosophy, inclusion, and appreciating our diversity. So we have been tackling the cyberbullying piece, which has been huge here at our school. Last year, at the beginning of the year, we had this training, and it was focused on cyberbullying and how people can like send messages or post about people. On social media, I was just scrolling through Instagram, and there was this page that requested to follow me. It was just a page where they posted about people that go here, and they would like post comments about them and say things that shouldn't be said, really, really bad things like bullying. And you know, I didn't like it, so I put a comment and I said, hey, what you're doing isn't right, and I don't like it, and you know, I can go report it. I don't care if you're anonymous, I'm not scared of you, and I told them that they should stop, that what they're doing can really hurt somebody. The students got together to talk, to make sure they help out where there's been cyberbullying, sitting down, discussing it, working with the staff to help us prevent it. They ended up taking the page down and they ended up telling me who they were and why they were doing it. Mainly they said that they just felt lonely, that they wanted that sort of power to like make them feel like they mattered and I'm just proud that I got to stop it. And I also talked to them too and helped them out a little bit. No Place for Hate is so important because it teaches our kids to understand what it's like to love, to talk, to teach, to learn, to work together and our differences once again makes us stronger. My name is John Hurl. I'm the uh, proud principal of Durango High School. I think EDL's No Place for Hate initiative has provided a student voice and it's created a warming environment within our building. The students who tend to join the Prejudice Elimination Action Team, also known as Pete, I would often refer to as the reluctant leaders. They have the skills to lead, but they're buried deep within them and they're learning who they are. Tuesday's afternoon, we have Pete meeting. Every year we do a huge major project um, to help more of the kids around the school know that, that Durango High School is a no place for hate, um, is a bully free zone. So two years ago, we had handprints on the wall and we had the resolution of respect. The people who agreed to it and who said, you know what, I'm gonna agree to this and I feel like this is the right thing I need to do, they 
painted their hand and they stuck it on the wall. It was the whole school, they agreed to it and everyone felt like it was an awesome idea. And we painted our hands and we stuck it upon that wall with pride and joy to know that we're doing the right thing for the world. Just instills me with a lot of pride watching these kids grow into the adults that they're going to be and have the strength to speak up. No place for hate. It's just so comfortable. I love it. Like, I always love going. What it's done for our students is given them not only leadership tools, but understanding that we are comprised of the wealth of differences that we have. It's one program that, you know, you'll never forget.